Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 Italy. So, last episode, we did... There's a lot of working out. We're trying to figure out ways of making our Navy a bit better and trying to get it on par with the modern navies of the rest of the world. Uh, we're definitely beating Austria-Hungary. I don't think we have to worry about them too much. Uh, we're on par with them in terms of battleships. I mean, they, they outdo us by, like, a 300-ton margin, which isn't a lot. Uh, we're do, out doing them on pre-dreadnoughts. I mean, our heavy cruisers are still pretty low, but once we finish our next three, we'll be on par with them because we have very good modern heavy cruisers. Uh, light cruisers were far better with them as well. So I don't think we have to worry too much about them. What we do have to worry about, and what I am worried about, and what I'm trying to go for is the French. See, here's the thing. I want to beat the French in a war ver enough so that we can start taking possessions. I want to try and get Tunisia. I want to try and get Algeria. I want to try and get Corsica in a war. If I can get that, we have a much stronger base and a much stronger economic base from which to build on in the Mediterranean, and we basically secured the Med, especially if we continue our alliance with the uh, great with the British. Uh, and, you know, we also possibly have a chance of taking some things down here now that we have a forward base uh, to take possibly uh, the, uh, like, Vietnam and uh, South China. I mean, we, we, we got a lot of options. I mean, our invasion range hasn't really changed too much, but they are, they're both within range up here. So that would be good. And over here, I think our invasion range will allow us to take uh, take Corsica and at least Tunisia, which will be useful. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's what my my mind's at right now. Uh, so we're going to be getting some new destroyer designs out. Uh, what I'm thinking is once we get those new destroyer designs out, we're going to basically start phasing out all, all of these old 500 ton destroyers i know that people will be saying oh keep them around so you can use them for trade protection but i use most of my destroyers for trade protection already anyways uh, i won't be getting rid of all of them I'm just getting rid of a lot of the 500 tonners because they're just becoming if we got enough that if we scrapped most of them we'd be making a little bit more money uh at least enough to matter um the other thing I might do is look at the Marcella class and see about doing a rebuild for it. That or, because it is starting to get outdated. Uh, that or going ahead and just replacing the four Marcellas with Lespleza, uh, Lesperza class. Uh, that's an option as well. Also, maybe getting rid of these two battleships. Even though they're bigger than the Roma, they're slower than the Roma. And I don't know if I really want to keep them around because of how slow they are. I'll have to see. I'll have to see about that. We've, we've got a little bit of time, so let's go ahead and keep moving forward. Another 500 tons from our private shipbuilding. Uh, Naval Secretary believes destroyers are the most important part of the Navy. He wants you to build at least 15 additional destroyers. Well, we were already planning on doing that. So, yes, give us budget and prestige and we will do this. Reduces rate of fire penalty for guns below 8 inches in turrets. Yes! We finally have that. That's going to be great. Let's go to the build screen. I want to build quite a few of these bad boys. Ten of these. So that's being built. Uh, thinking you are going to be halted on construction. And we're going to build another. Because we, we have ten building right now, so we need... Five more. Okay, and those are being built. We're also going to go ahead and pick a random number of these, and we're going to scrap them. Eleven ships. Yes. That'll also save us a bit of money and allow us to build up more funds in the bank, which will be good could technically just go ahead and do that and we should have enough that we could finish these uh, heavy cruisers in that time so we're gonna go ahead and go forward yeah people are starting to scrap their really old battleships which I mean again 
these were uh, these two were newer, but uh, they are so old. Okay, I'll make a decision by by uh, by 1915. We'll see where we are, where we stand in terms of our constructed ships and everything we have ready to go, and we'll make a decision. Okay, Cicely finished her working up. That's great. It does mean that I think we are going to become the lead the leaders in pre-dreadnoughts again, but uh, we'll see about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop the Russian intelligence, and I'm going to bring it up on the French. I want to start getting an inf some more information on what the French are up to. Accuracy improvement. Quality 1 14-inch guns. That's interesting. Uh, how long does it take to build these things? 34 months? So either 4 months down. Could cancel the battle cruiser. And get better 14-inch guns. Because right now he's got quality 0. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that. Uh, offering to sell us the rights of ballistic cap. Sure, we'll take we'll buy that. AP penetrating improvement. Figuring out the concept of increased elevation. Understood. Yeah, people are scrapping a whole bunch of things now. It's another couple of pre-dreadnoughts the Germans scrapped. French scrapped a couple as well. Yeah, they're going heavy on the uh, dreadnoughts. Okay, we're... I know I said... 15, I said 1915. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to hold true. 1915, we'll make a judgment call on that. Uh, new French uh, battlecruiser. Okay, what do you got? 10 12-inch guns. Our battlecruiser is far better than that in terms of guns. 12-inch belt. That's actually really nice. 28, 28 knots. It's 30,000. Hmm. You know what? We're going to go ahead and we're going to expand our dockyards. I think we're going to fall behind on that. We're going to halt construction on one of those cruisers. Move forward. You're receiving much praise for building a number of destroyers. That's great. Thank you. Oh, we lost mm, the national people in Norway. It's no concern to us. Germany took control of Norway. Enable small seaplane carriers. Okay, that's something. We don't have seaplanes. Can we actually quest? Let's go ahead and let's see about a float plane scout. I want range. And reliability. Okay, that's that's being that's sent out. I guess we'll see what they come up with. Okay, Panama Canal now exists. Amphibious operations is now a research area we have available to us. All right. Seven months away for these new destroyers. Four months for the new heavy cruiser. Okay, increased in tech. Uh, has uh, given us better production, which should increase. But 5,000, our yearly budget, that's good. Handle it quietly and discreetly. I don't want to have to deal with it right now. Not with the U.S. Okay. Three more months. We have enough money. Let's go ahead and let's build another base, an airship base. Let's do Italian Western Coast. Let's do Imperia. Let's do that. Okay, one more month to give them better fire control. Because we have director fire control now as a thing. Okay, we're increasing threat with the French. 
do the French have in terms of battle cruisers? They have four, three, or not, uh, yeah, and three dreadnoughts. Hmm. Let's go ahead and let's hold off. Finish construction of a new airship base. That's good. Okay, another month for some better uh, fire control. New Austrian light cruiser. Three six-inch guns. A couple above water torpedoes. Okay, 29 knots. All right. All or nothing armor gives full benefits of all or nothing armor layout. Okay. I might start using that. Okay, one more month for this heavy cruiser. We're going to go ahead and resume construction on this one. Uh, make sure they finish behind the host nation. Yeah. Gradual damage control improvements. Good for extended double bottom. USA scrapped the North Dakota. Okay, new heavy cruisers are coming off the slipways. Uh, fleet cruising formation enables cruising formation in parallel columns of the fleet. All right. Seaplane scouts enables seaplane bases. Okay, and quality zero 15 inch guns. We can now build air bases with capacity of 20 aircraft. All right. Horn base. Let's do an air base. Sicily. Let's do uh Hold on a second. Let's see where these bases are, because I am expecting French. Let's do Sardinia and we'll go from uh Oblia. Go ahead there. Air base. Sardinia. Oblia. Yes. That'll help out a bit. Okay. Oil's been discovered in the uh, Laotong Peninsula. New heavy cruisers been commissioned to the Navy. Austria-Hungary and France sign a treaty to contain Italian aggression. <sighs> Fucking hell. New floatplane scout prototypes are ready for evaluation. Okay. Types in service, none. What do we got here? Three of these... I went for range and reliability. Maneuver. Don't know about the reliability. Um, I like you. So the uh, the end strv the N Salido AC. 63 the ac 63 we'll call okay yes we'll go ahead and pick that so you are in service let's go request another proposal let's go with a flying boat yeah, range and reliability for the flying boat as well pick up see who comes up with what now there do you want to see base overview it's building okay all right yeah and you're right there that's good for that other airship base okay well, let's go ahead and let's Build us another battle cruiser. Yes, another one. Actually, no. New one. Let's scrap that one. Incomplete for zero. Uh, let's go ahead and design. Open the the Lepanto. And I want better 14 inch guns on you can I go ahead and open design there we go that works better 14 inch guns 
Saved a bit of weight there. Six inch guns have been improved. They haven't been improved. All I really want is the better 14 inch guns. The armor's still good. The speed's still good. Don't think we can get another thing of speed. Yeah, better 14 inch guns. I'm good with that. Good, good. We could put you in double turrets, maybe. Single turrets? Nope. Have to stay in case, mates. Alright. Call this onto two class. It's just the development from that. We do have a little bit of weight, and I don't think we can put another gun in here. No, we can't. Yeah, that looks... Could put a seaplane hangar, I guess? Air capacity one. Add... We don't have catapults. Damn it. I'll have to develop catapults. Alright. Take one month to develop that. Alright, and we'll... Uh, the next battlecruiser will be of that class. Because it'll have better guns. Yes, go ahead and give it the better one. Okay, 12 new destroyers commissioned into the Navy. That's good. The ambassador from Foster Hungary is approaching the Minister of the Navy with just we curb our Navy program. Ten amount to surrender. We will not. Proved face hardening. Proved airship performance is good. Proved seaplane carrier. Let's go to the build screen. I want to build you. We have the money. All right. A couple more months and we'll have the next... We'll have the last of our heavy cruisers and three more destroyers ready to go. I think we should go ahead and let's look at the French. Because the French and the Austro-Hungarians will now be on our backs. Yeah, we need more subs. Medium range subs. Ten of those. Get them all out. Alright, and I also want to check coastal fortifications. Well, apparently we can we can expand the base. Oh no, okay. Well we can expand the base for these. Still two months away for this air base. Okay, last heavy cruiser's done. Two more destroyers. It's been of great benefit with our light forces and torpedo warfare. Gradual improvement to armor quality has been good. Increased HE shell damage. Yeah. Okay. One more month for the Sardinian air base to be done. We've got a thousand spare right now. Definitely going back here. Let's go ahead and knock off a couple of these destroyers. Four of those are gone. This does bring us down to 30 destroyers, but still okay. I think some more light cruisers are in order, but we don't have modern light cruisers. We have the, the best one we have are the Les Blisa class. I don't think we have anything that's newer than the Les Pleasa. No, we don't. Let's see, is there anything we can make that is a bit better than Les Pleasa? Above water torpedo tubes are not researched for these ships. So we have to clear the mounts there. We have to add a port and starboard, port and starboard. So those are done. Let's go ahead and get that in even 20 mines. Quality 1 5 inches, cramped short range. 
This is really, really small. About 5,000. Get you to normal, medium range, and a normal engine. 6,000 tons. All we have are these 5 inchers, 6 inch guns. Okay, 2.07 at long range. Go with the 6 inchers. Central firing. We don't need secondaries, really. And all of this is fairly good. One inch belt. Can we get that up to maybe a two inch belt? Yes. Okay, with not going with colonial service this time. 6,000 tons. It has mines. 20 mines. Good with that. That's four guns. It's four six inch guns. It'll be a raiding ship and a scout ship. It's 30 knots. I'm good with that. Two months of that, and then we'll put that on to start building. Finish construction of the air base in Sardinia. Okay, new last heavy cruisers done. Last battleships, or not, uh, not battleship destroyers finished. An erratic scientist of doubtful repute offers to sell us his latest invention of fleet tactics for 800. Never know, it's 800. So I have to handle it quietly and discreetly. Triple torpedo tube mount. Okay. So let's check the bases. It's the first time I've built a, uh, a base. Okay, well, yeah, there's the base. Uh, air groups. airships. Can I buy you already own that aircraft? Okay, it's Flying Scout. Gonna have to get designs for all these, aren't I? Hopefully the flying boat gives us a good uh, good one to go with. New docks have been completed. Okay, our new heavy cruiser finished, been commissioned to the Navy. Prime Minister has made a foreign policy gaffe. Smooth things over. Foreign policy of, let's go ahead and hit Germany because we can. Budget and tension for them, but I'm good. Yes. We have no gear current with flying boat capacity. Okay, that's what we need. Okay, build screen for the new uh, light cruisers. We will go ahead and make two of these. Two battle cruisers are ready to go. That puts us a little bit behind Austria Hungary. I think we'll be okay. That's done. Let's go ahead and 2,000. Let's let's build the Sicily. Another another one. Yes, there we go. Coastal forts still haven't been done. We still have that uh, that call out for flying boats, selling us the right stable explosive filler. Yeah, sell us that. I'm good with that. Enables triple triple torpedo mounts is good. Don't think we have above water torpedo mounts yet, though. That's the problem. Uh, okay, we're 400 under on our budget, but we're still okay. Uh, concept of improvement, homogenous armor, improved homogenous armor. We got wet heater engine, so a lot of range on our uh, torpedoes again. Motor torpedo boats uh, can be built. Okay. The Cat Company has developed a flying boat as a private venture. We're interested in buying it. We have a flying boat already out. Speed's a little low. Range is good, though. Doesn't have any firepower. Doesn't have a bomb load. We'll go ahead. We'll... We'll pick it up. 
full plate scout is ready for operational service. That's good. So aircraft types, we've got... So that's in development right now. So the, uh, the Cat Z-65. Another 500 tons from a private shipbuilding industry. Okay, new light cruisers finished or working up. New flying boat prototypes are ready for evaluation. Okay, cruise speed is pretty good. Max speed's good. Toughness. Max speed is good. Cruise speed is good. Range is not bad. Toughness is good. Maneuver's good. With firepower of one. We'll pick that up. Okay. So that gives us two flying boats. They're both in... Uh, they're both ready. Uh, so the, uh, the Regan, uh, the Ragan Re-66. It's a bit better than the one we got for free. Has some firepower too, which is nice, and it's a bit tougher while being faster. So yeah, it's better all around. So that's good. Let's also go to aircraft types. Request proposals for aircraft. I want to go ahead and pick up some... F some fighters with a focus on maneuverability and firepower. Put those out there. We don't need a lot of range, we're in the Mediterranean. So we've got that going. Okay. Another 500 tons from our shipbuilding, our private shipbuilding, new French battle cruiser. We've seen this before. Yeah. See, our guns are better. And they're going, and they're now they're actually directly better. Uh, twelve inch belt, twelve inch belt, twenty eight knots, which is two knots faster than ours. Twelve inch belt. Let's actually see about that. I forget. What we got for you ten inch belt, so it's a little bit lighter, but our guns are better, so we can we can be better stand up, better standoff distance. <sighs> we'll see. I would like to be back in an agreement with the with the British. We could have pushed the French at that point. If we could have forced a war. The British could have backed us up a whole hell of a lot. Uh, we'll see. We do outdo them on light cruisers, though, at this point, which is nice. And destroyers. Uh, we match them, exceed them on pre-dreadnought battleships. We're just a little bit behind on the heavy cruisers as well. So yeah, if we can just keep focusing, we might be able to overtake the French. And our economy is just a little bit behind the French too. So that's something. But we have to remember, the French and the Austro-Hungarians are in an agreement to fight us. The Hawkish government, naval expenditure... I'll go with that one because I don't want to force a war for, on three fronts. X lighters, improved invasion uh, capability. That's nice. So, what does that give us? Has our invasion range gone up to 300? Yes, it has. That puts us uh, almost within striking distance of, Al of Algeria. And I think it does give us a uh, range on this colony of the French over here as well. Huh. So, we have some options. Subs are 10 months away. Okay. Don't have any torpedo bombers, fighters, or flying boats. But hopefully we will have fighters and flying boats soon. Torpedo bombers will be the next thing we pick up. Best interview on which nation will most likely be our enemy in the future. We must be prepared to fight against any opponent. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, Austria-Hungary, I don't want to fight you. You're, you're basically nothing. Just stop. Just stop. Uh, we can't request two. Yeah, we we already have a request out. We can't do any other one. Okay. Those are being done. Could go ahead and maybe 
look at doing the rebuild for these, uh, uh, what do we want? Maybe the Marcellas? Open design for rebuild. Let's, uh, let's get better guns. Better five inch guns. Can go ahead and we can place the machinery. Gives us a little bit extra weight. Bring them up to 26 knots. 12 months rebuild, but that gives us quite a few extra knots of speed. That gives us three extra knots. Which brings them in line with the Lispliza near enough. And it gives them uh, quite a few... It gives them 10 5-inch quality 1 guns instead of quality 0. Which isn't too bad. Oh, and fire control. We should probably go ahead and get central firing on you. Can we get you two firing positions? I think that's good. Gun data... Yeah, get you two fire control positions. And I think we're good. That, that's a good redesign. So the Marcella, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll start redesigning the Marcellas. Bring them in line, because I don't want to have to just toss them out. They're, not, they're good ships. Yeah, I'm good with that. So we got a lot of stuff in the works right now. We got a lot of, uh, we got a couple of battleship, uh, we got a couple of, we got a dreadnought and a couple of battle cruisers, couple of new light cruisers and a rebuild of our old light cruisers on uh, right now. Uh, we are working on uh, our airship, like our air bases. Uh, we have 16 airships in total in the uh, in our force uh, with two bases uh, dedicated to, towards those. But the new air base, we're trying to get them stocked out. Uh, hopefully, uh, once the development is done with these flying boats, they'll start getting stocked into the airbase, as well as the new, uh, fighter that we're designing, and then a new, uh, torpedo bomber. Uh, but we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, also, I'm not liking the fact that the Austro-Hungarians are so close to war. I'd like to decrease tensions with them, maybe increase tensions with the French, but I think we're just gonna be at war with them. Uh, either the... The British or the Germans I would like to get into an agreement with, and that way I could force a fight with these two and probably win. But we'll have to see about that. That's gonna that's gonna be at the uh, the whims of the uh, of the diplomat of the diplom the diplomatic gods. But either way, we you know still have a, a new colony, which is nice. Uh, but yeah. Thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Also, hit that like button if you want to help support the channel. Consider the subscribe button down below. As well, take a look at the description down below. Where I'm links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!